Hello there, get ready for a serious swatching session focusing on my favourite Charlotte Tilbury lipstick formula, Matte Revolution. These creamy mattes are one of my favourite formulas full stop, not just from Charlotte's brand, and probably one of my top two matte lipsticks of all time after Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet. These are pigmented but sheer out nicely, have a soft matte finish that feels comfortable, never dry and doesn't look flat. They wear evenly and for a really long time, and I love the softly sweet vanilla scent. The rectangular bullet inspired by the shape of a lip brush makes them easy to apply to. Charlotte Tilbury launched her brand in 2013, but it's never been available in Australia until now. It's just about to launch at Mecca. Let me know if you'd like to see an overview of her other lip formulas in future. There's K-I-S-S-I-N-G, a creamy satin lipstick, superstar lips, a sheer shiny lipstick, hyaluronic happy kiss, a pigmented glossy balm, tinted love, subtle multitasking tints, lip and cheek glow pots to tap on for a fresh flush, her best-selling lip cheek lip liners, and three different types of glosses, but my matte revolution obsession began about six years ago. I started collecting them overseas, but her range is also available on her Australian website and a few other countries, as well as Cult Beauty, Net-A-Porter, Selfridges, or Feel Unique, which ship internationally, but there's nothing quite like having a swatch party in person. If you're not able to get into a store or don't have a Charlotte Tilbury counter near you or in your country yet, I hope this video is helpful and lets you get to know a range of her shades. Colours can always come across differently on different skin tones, so if any of these do catch your eye, make sure you do more research. I've grouped 24 Matte Revolution colours into five families. Nudes, pinks, roses, berries and reds and didn't include any discontinued shades. One quick point on packaging, Matte Revolution comes in its own range in her regular rose gold packaging, but the formula is also used in other collections like Hot Lips celebrity inspired colors with the Kiss imprint, Hot Lips 2 in patterned refillable packaging, and some limited edition but later brought back launches like the Lucky Lipsticks and Love Filter Lipsticks. A final note on shade names. Many of Charlotte's original Matte Revolution lipsticks were named after real people or places, but they were updated in mid-2020, presumably for copyright reasons. Some of her really recognisable titles are a bit clunky now, so I'll refer to past and present names. Beginning with nudes. Now, nude as a colour is different for everyone. It shouldn't just mean beige. I have fair, cool-toned skin, so softer, peachy nudes work best for me, but Charlotte's range includes mid-tone, 90s nudes, and deeper brown nudes too. Super Cindy was part of the first Hot Lips collection in 2016, inspired by Charlotte's clients, one of whom is 90s supermodel Cindy Crawford. It's described as a muted nude or taupey nude with warm undertones, and that warmth is almost a bit peachy on me. I wonder if Cindy's daughter and model of the moment Kaya Gerber will appear in a future Hot Lips lineup. Very Victoria was one of my first shades. This is called a suede taupe nude, not peachy like Super Cindy, more of a soft light brown with a tiny bit of warmth again so it's not too stark. At the beginning of my celebrity makeup bag series I discovered that this was one of Meghan Markle's favourite shades and it was named after nude lipstick lover Victoria Beckham. Supermodel was part of a 2019 trio, but Charlotte recently launched five Super Nudes lipsticks, and one is called Supermodel, and it looks pretty similar. The new release is described as a mid-tone muted nude rose, and I think it might be the same as this brownie rose. I haven't been able to confirm that anywhere, so please let me know if you've tried both. Pillow Talk Medium arrived in early 2020. You'll see Charlotte's iconic Pillow Talk lipstick in a minute. The original can look too chalky or washed out on deeper skin tones, so she launched Pillow Talk Medium and Intense. This is described as a warm berry pink, but there's a bit of brown coming through too, a much more flattering version for medium skin tones. Birkin Brown was named after iconic beauty Jane Birkin, but it's now known as So 90s. That still fits the mood of this creamy brown nude, which looks very 90s at full strength, but it also shears out nicely so you can blend it with a bit of lip balm for a softer, chocolatey tint. Speaking of which, it's nearly time for a new tinted lip balm video on that theme. Next up, pink. I'm 
I'm not a big pink lipstick person. I love a dusty pink blush or any pink eyeshadow, but candy pinks or pastels don't suit my lips, so I've put a couple of corals in this category too. Sexy Sienna was named after British actress Sienna Miller. This popped up in my spring 2021 makeup edit. It's called a golden coral, the sort of strong, summery peach that's bound to boost your mood. One of my favourite red carpet looks of all time was Alicia Vikander at the 2016 Golden Globes wearing a mix of this colour and Walk of Shame. Coming up. Miranda May is a hot lips colour designed with Miranda Kerr in mind. You can see more of her makeup routine in a celebrity makeup bag episode. This is a bright coral pink, outside my usual comfort zone, so I like patting it on instead of a full swipe, then shearing it out with my fingertips. These are creamy enough to create a nice sheer, stained look like that. Kidman's Kiss was inspired by actress Nicole Kidman, another hot lips named after a famous Aussie. This rose petal pink is like bottling the poise and grace and elegance of Nicole, but it's not too much of a baby pink or wishy-washy pastel. It has just enough depth and can almost look like a slightly peachy rose if you pair it with a fresh peach blush. Pillow Talk is Charlotte's most popular lipstick by a mile. It started as a lip liner shade in 2013 and became this matte revolution lipstick in 2017. It's called a nude pink, but I always describe it as a dusty rose pink. It's nowhere near as bright or rosy as Kidman's Kiss above. Much more muted and incredibly popular for a reason. One sells every two minutes. So you can see a comparison, I've swatched Pillow Talk Medium again here next to its original Pillow Talk sibling. The brown tones are much more obvious this time, but it's still a nice shade progression. This next group is my personal favourite. I've loosely called it Rose because there are rosy tones in each colour, but it's really all of those rosy berry, rosy brown, reddy brown, brownie berry, cranberry kind of colours I love. Wedding Bells was part of a love filter trio with three pretty soft berry bridal shades. This was one of my 2020 favourites and it appeared in my everyday makeup routine video last year. It's called a rosebud pink, but it's definitely a little bit peachy on me. You can pick up on that preference for peachier nudes. A nice my lips but better colour so they just look slightly darker and fuller. Mrs. Kisses was another love filter shade and another one on my 2020 favourites list. It's been in my makeup bag for most of this year too. It's called a golden peachy pink, but I think of it as a warm berry brown almost. Slightly more toasty than Wedding Bells and it fits into the rest of this rosy brown family nicely. Great shade for autumn slash fall. Bond Girl is my absolute favourite Charlotte Tilbury shade. It was renamed M.I. Kiss, but it'll always be Bond Girl to me. This is described as a berry red, but I often refer to it as a brownie red. I'd probably use berry red for the next one. It was in my 2017, 2018, and probably 2058 favourites. An excellent everyday shade that can look very natural and very polished. Walk of Shame is right next to Bond Girl in my Tilbury Top 2. Now known as Walk of No Shame, it's one of her most popular lipsticks to wear down the aisle. Miranda Kerr wore this on her wedding day, and one of my friends did too recently. It's called a Berry Rose, definitely related to Bond Girl, but it gives you much more of a rosy berry flush. Rose Wish was one of her lucky lipsticks for Lunar New Year in 2021. This is called a muted matte brick red and basically captures all of my favourite lipstick buzzwords. Muted, rosy, rusty brick red. This deep brownie berry was inspired by roses, but it's looking quite warm and brick-like next to Berry Rose Walk of Shame above. Bringing in the real berries now. Bond Girl, Walk of Shame and Rose Wish could have been in this group, but we've got more jammy, plummy shades to play with. Secret Salma is a deep rose plum hot lips shade, but it's definitely not the deepest in this section. I think it's more of a light or soft plum. This was named after Mexican-American actress Salma Hayek based on a colour Charlotte used to custom mix for her. It's designed to pop on medium or olive skin tones and bring out brown eyes. Amazing Amal is from the Hot Lips 2 collection in 2019. No surprises after years of Charlotte and Amal Clooney working together. I featured Amal in a celebrity Celebrity makeup bag episode full of Charlotte Tilbury products she's worn. This is described as a soft berry pink, and even though it's on the cool side, it's not too purpley, just like the sort of shades Amal wears often. 
Viva La Vergara is another Hot Lips 2 shade inspired by Colombian American actress Sofia Vergara. This is called a soft wine, so it's right in that red berry range I like. The first time I tried this, it did remind me of Walk of Shame. So you can see this swatched next to Bond Girl, Walk of Shame and Rose Wish in my Lucky Lipsticks video. Love Liberty is called a berry pink and we're moving towards a more purple berry position now. This colour always struck me as an Amal Clooney kind of shade before she had her own. She wore this to the Venice Film Festival in 2017. This one is a bit deeper and more intense than Amazing Amal, a bold berry pink pick for autumn winter. Glastonbury is the darkest shade in this lineup. Named after the famous Glastonbury Music Festival in the UK, it's now known as Festival Magic. Not for the faint of heart, this beautifully rich, decadent purple berry looks delicious as a statement vampy lip. The bullet looks a bit blackberry toned, but don't be fooled, this is a true purple dark berry. Finishing with a round of reds. I've loved red lipstick for almost 10 years and Charlotte has some great cherry, orange red and ruby options. Lucky Cherry was part of her Lucky Lipsticks launch. It's described as a bright cherry red like diving into a big bowl of juicy cherries. Interestingly, I do think this is slightly less creamy and full coverage than the rest of the matte reds you'll see here, but it means it's a nice one to sheer out as a softer, more approachable red. Tell Laura from the Hot Lips line is a warm orange red named after British model Laura Bailey. This might be as spicy as red can get before it just becomes orange. This fiery colour is very similar to Lucky Cherry, but that less creamy quality I mentioned above is not noticeable here. Tracy Ellis Ross made this shade multitask on her eyes at the 2018 Emmys. Red Hot Susan is a Hot Lips 2 colour named after American actress Susan Sarandon. It's called a tawny orange red, still nice and warm but doesn't have the same bright citrusy kick as Tell Laura above. It's a bit deeper and more rusty maybe. Tawny does mean orange brown but it's a bit bricky as well so it's a reliable autumnal red. Karina's Love is an original Hot Lips shade. This is called a bright medium red, inspired by the Hong Kong actress Karina Lau. This shade appeared in my Lana Condor makeup bag video because it's the lipstick she wore as Lara Jean in the second To All The Boys film on her first date. I always think of this one as a slightly berry red. Red Carpet Red is a bestseller and one of my favourite red lipsticks and I can tell you it's a pretty long list. This is described as a true ruby red, such a classic rich colour, darker than the others here. As red lipstick lovers well know, no two reds are exactly the same as you can see in this section. I particularly love powerful deep reds like this one. We made it! I hope this was helpful if you've been looking for Charlotte colour comparisons or you just enjoyed watching some satisfying swatches. I've collected and loved these over many years so you can probably tell I'm not fussed about expiry dates. I just focus on hygiene, keeping products clean, not sharing. If it still looks, smells and performs the same, I keep it. These certainly last. I've worn some of them so often. I'd love to hear if any of you have ever finished one. No one needs this many lipstick tubes but lipstick isn't really about need, it's more about how it makes you feel than how it makes you look. It can give you confidence, change up an outfit, play up a different side of your personality. I love that transformative power and I know so many of you love Charlotte's shades as well so please share your favourites in the comments. Are you a matte revolution person or prefer another formula? If you're planning to try the brand for the first time let me know if I can answer any colour questions and tell me which colour group are you drawn to or have any new shades caught your eye? Thanks for watching, see you next time.